Variation in milk yield and composition of West African dwarf does fed cassava peel based diets supplemented with African yam bean concentrate in the humid zone of Nigeria. This article is written by three authors. First author Anya, M. I. Second author Yuck, A. A. Last author Eberu, P. O. This study investigated the variation in milk yield and composition of West African dwarf goats, does, fed cassava peel meal based diets supplemented with varying levels of African yam bean seed meal, AYBM. Four experimental diets designated as T1, T2, T3 and T4 with 0, 10, 20 and 30 percent levels of them respectively were used in the feeding trial. A total of 12 does with average weight of 19.6 plus minus 1.12 kilograms were used in this study. The does which were in their second to third parities were randomly divided into four groups of three animals each. Each group was assigned to one of the experimental diets in a completely randomized design, CRD, experiment. Each animal was housed separately in cement floored bins measuring 1.85 meters by 1.70 meters, 3.15 square meters. Dry hay material was used as bedding. During the first four months of pregnancy, the does were zero grazed with forage consisting mainly penistum purpurum, Bleraria phaseoloides, and centrosma pubes. Daily dry matter provision for each animal was based on 3% body weight. In the last trimester of pregnancy, each endo received half a kilogram of a concentrate diet in the morning, 0800 hour, and 1.0 kilograms penistum purpurum in the afternoon, 1400 hours. This nutritional regime continued through parturition and into the 10th week of lactation for each doe. Water was provided ad libitum throughout the study duration. After the 10th day postpartum, the respective does were hand, milk daily and associated milk parameters such as yield and composition, lactose, total solids, butter fat, crude protein, solid non-fats, ash and gross energy, determined accordingly. Correlation coefficients were computed and simple linear regression was used in ascertaining the relationship between the parameters, constituents and goat milk. Results showed significant, P0.05, differences in weekly variations in milk yield, 1.88 to 3.32 kg, and constituents, 4.05 to 4.52 percent lactose. 0.87 to 1.06 percent hash and 3.89 to 3.53 megajoules slash kg energy. The milk yield generally rose with time postpartum and reached peak yield, 3.32 kilograms, in week 3 before declining. There were however significant differences, P0.05, between the peak yield of week 4 and yield obtained in the 7th. 2.43 kg, 8th, 2.43 kg, 9th, 2.55 kg, and 10th, 1.88 kg, weak, respectively. Milk yield was negatively and significantly correlated with total solids, R equals minus 0.59, P0.05, crude protein, R equals 0.71. P0.01, solid non-fats, R equals, 0.87, P0.01, and milk energy, R equals minus 0.79, P0.01, but poorly and positively correlated with butter fat, R0.01, P0.05, and lactose, R equals 0.42, P0.05. Significantly high, P0.05, positive correlation existed between BF and TS, R equals dash 0.55, and CP, R, 0.54, energy and TS, R equals 0.57, while a significantly high, P0.01, but negative correlation existed between CP and S and F, 
R equals minus 0.75. Lactose was negatively, poorly and non-significantly correlated with TS, P0.05, R equals minus 0.22, in this study. The study concludes that dairy goats fed 10% maintain milk high yield and optimum composition. Thanks for watching this abstract video of Canadian Journal of Agriculture and Crops Volume 4 Issue Number 1 published by Online Science Publishing.